Yeah. Standing in front of uh, the art gallery and gift shop in Campbell River. And there is a flea market going on. Yeah. So, I guess the trick is going to be to find that one thing that I'll spend my money on. Let's go. Really beautiful sunny day for flea market. I think I found something that interests me. Well, this is cool. Called Zen Tangle. Where you take certain shapes and designs, put them all together, and come up with some really cool stuff. Nice butterfly. That's a basin. See our community senator. Drop-in painting is what it's called. There's some pretty good stuff in here. Artist is Maria Sorbo Jackson. Very nice. Nice. This almost looks like what my sister does. And the artist is JB Horns. Very nice. Pictures? Yeah, I asked the ladies if I could have permission to videotape it for my uh, for my YouTube channel. Oh, good. Yeah, I figure, what the heck, you know, publish it. Who knows, right? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Might be famous. <laughs> <laughs> they may be. Yeah. I think my channel would have to grow a lot more to do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool stuff. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Actually. Wow. That is cool. Who does this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fred Marsters. Wow. That is wicked. Camera's not doing this justice. Hmm? Well, that's a really cool idea. I love that. Just look. When you stand and look, you see the. Are you from around here, or? I'm actually from. Uh, I 
the last 15 years in Lethbridge, Alberta. Alberta. BC. <laughs> this is B. Vancouver Island Rings. Yeah. Vancouver Island Ring. Rings. Is that what the, your company name well, is? Or? No, I just really just that's what, okay. Or, or or I was thinking the ring man. <laughs> yeah. And your name is? Paul. Paul? Yeah. Good to meet you, Paul. Yeah. That was very nice stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. I have fun with it. Different. Oh, I bet, I yeah. I keep trying different things. It's uh, uh, special with um, yellow cedar. Oh, yeah. Pearl. Okay. And then uh, pearl in it with a little dangle and stuff like that. It just... Yeah. Well, no, let's... It's uh, just something to uh, yeah. keep going, you know, and all the different even skateboard rings oh yeah yeah and then, and then yep. denim blue jeans wow copper jacket so it's a uh, kinds of wood that's produced wood i do yeah. oh really yeah. wow tiger wood you, saw, you found some really nice wood that's for sure oh yeah i keep going there and the latest one is uh Ironwood with Iron uh, wood, yeah. stainless steel yep. ring core, you know. And, uh, yeah. And well, that's interesting. You Tennessee, uh, Tennessee redwood. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. It goes nice too, you know, and, and that. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. But so my some favorite of the, is still the uh, oh. yellow cedar. Burl. The yellow cedar. That I looks nice. I wear that all the time, you know. And it, I had one guy as a jeweler actually. Yeah. And he took it and under a light and turned it and turned it. Are you sure you made that? I said, yeah. <laughs> you know, so why? I have, I have why fun. not? <laughs> I have fun making it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's great yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then my daughter does all the. Uh, the glass uh, work? Painting of the thing. It's baked on uh, in the hand painted and baked on in the oven. Oh, and yeah. And the latest, she's doing the dog portraits there. Okay. Should be found on the internet. There's your cards there. Oh, all right. Pet portraits and wildlife art. Yeah. And her name is Julie. Julie. Okay. Just take a card there. The yeah. But the bird has the most on it, I think. Or take one of each. That works. Yeah. Very nice. Right on. This is really cool. What are these made out of? These are made out of a textile hardware called Paver Pole, a Dutch really? product. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, you dip the fabric. It's got to be natural fibers, cottons, wools, any natural fibers that will take on the liquid. Oh, okay. And so you start with the, with the figurines. You start with a wire armature. Yeah. And then I build the body with tin foil, so the body's kind of sculpted, as you can see. Right. And then from there, I wrap it in fabric. In you start fabric. wrapping the body. I end up with a mummified body. Then it's positioned, and then I start draping more fabric on it. Hats, hair, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's yeah. a really cool idea. And then I, then I paint them, of course. Yeah. yeah. I like these. These are cool. Thank you. <laughs> really nice. I really enjoy making them. Yeah, I bet. It shows. And we saw a couple of these in the backyard one day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you saw... Th that was my work. Yeah. That was my work, yes. yes. Yeah, well, Kenny's like, garden. One, one of the reasons why we're here today. Yeah. Oh, you saw that she said you'd be oh. here, so... pretty cool that's a great idea great use of socks after you finish wearing them cool thanks Well, you put the chemicals on dry, oh. right? So it's 
instead of mixing it up with liquid and spraying it on, I put all the colors on as a dry chemical base. Then I add a bunch of soda ash, a big layer. Then I build a frame and I put about six to eight inches of ice on it. And you just let the ice melt and just push the color straight down. And it doesn't have a chance to actually move across the fabric. So that you see the difference, eh? You see the depth of your color you've got? Holy. And that's because I just keep piling ice and ice. And I'm a fool to do it in the summer. You should always ice dye in the winter so you can go outside and just grab snow for free. So that's what <laughs> But uh, seriously, that's what really adds the price to it, is having to buy 5 to $10 worth of ice. But that's what created that beautiful, beautiful. That is nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow. So what a color. Cold water wash. Okay, put it on a hanger. Okay, Very and that'll nice. just stay like that forever. So you said that you're going to uh, use Visa on that? I'm not sure. I'm just going to give you the business card there. Put that Very in the cool bag. designs. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little disorganized. Very nice stuff. Do you Thank have you. a uh, business card? I sure do. Are you from Campbell River? Or? Uh, no, actually, I'm from uh, Lethbridge, Alberta. Ah. I'm on a Canada tour. Oh, of Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I finally have free time, so I started in, uh, uh, I don't know if you know Winter Harbor at all? Yeah, I do know Winter. I fished out of Winter Harbor. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Throwing water all over my cell here. Is that ever cool? <laughs> right on. Nice. Thanks. Wow. That is so cool. I love the outfits too. Thank you. Fabulous. <laughs> Finally, someone taller than me. Well, after some debate, I think I know what I'm going to spend my money on. Let's go get one. All right. Well, I did buy something, but I can't show you what it is because it's a surprise for someone. Then you can see it. I think I'll hang around and listen to some music. Interesting. Fish. Metal fish put into the cement. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Look up. Way up. <laughs> Dude's on a journey. Whew, long way to go.
Someone was being creative. <laughs> I found my new camper van. Yeah, I do. Uh, but I don't have a business card yet. <laughs> uh, it's called the Traveling Frank Show. And what I, yeah, slash van life. So what I'm doing is, uh, well, I started in Winter Harbor, and the idea is to go all the way to, um, all the way to, uh, and, uh, on YouTube with this stuff. I love this. Now, are you the one that makes these? You do, eh? Yeah. Cool. And then Sherry's on the business card is my friend here. And we make the drums oh. together. Where are you? Hi, Sherry. Hi. <laughs> oh, you don't mind being on YouTube, do you? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Her and I, we make Sorry, that was kind of just automatic. <laughs> we make the drums together. Oh, wow. So these ones are bare. Oh, really? So it's like... Um... Black bear. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I haven't tied them off yet, but yeah. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah. Now, where do you get the uh, bear hides from? Um, these, this bear came from my nephew, who's a hunter. Ah, okay. So spring cool. bear. Right on. Yeah, and then we have more drums in this front corner, and there's like oh, yeah. elk, okay. bear, and, and goat, and sheep. <laughs> yeah. All kinds of cool stuff. You betcha. You Great. Bet. And your name again was? Dina. Dina? Yes. All right. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right. It. Thank you. Just in case I forget. <laughs> I have a good memory, but it's short and selective. <laughs> Yeah. If we got off the cruise ship, there would be like, you know, St. Martin's or something. So I'd take a picture of it, and then I knew all the pictures after that were off that island. <laughs> and yep. then the next day we're, you know, Virgin Island or whatever, and then a big picture. Big of the, picture of Virgin. Yeah, so then I knew, and then all the pictures that followed that side of where we were. <laughs> as long as the camera cooperates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes that doesn't happen. That's right, good memory, but awfully short. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, some pretty neat stuff. Nice drums. Good morning, Campbell River. Or is it afternoon? <laughs> I think I'll hang out at the museum for a little while. That's a pretty good version of a steam donkey. Follow me. That's where the steam builds up. Yeah. Comes down to here. Pumps this piston in here. Which moves that back and forth oops slow down <laughs> which in turn <laughs> turns the wheels and it makes shit happen it's inside a glass building that's why it looks this way But a Hayes Anderson? Wow. That's pretty cool old school. Let's see if we can get close enough so you can see. Cover the camera. Nope. No wonder some assholes get the uh, light on. Light on, but nobody's home. Thank you. Does that help? No. Darn. Yeah. 
There's a cool old truck in there. <laughs> All right, this is awesome advertisement. Introducing the Hayes Anderson Motor Trucks. Get good drivers. See that your trucks are properly greased, adjusted, and tightened up. Give them the same care you would give a reasonably good horse or a locomotive. <laughs> truck plant wow well that was quite the restore project on trance oh what do you know for once my thing is in the way Gee. <laughs> Ooh, sectional air gas. Yeah, when I landed at the first job in Chul Bay, bunk houses were on land on the side of the hill, blocked off, looking into the goddamn bunk house, and I thought, holy Christ, this got to be the end of the world right here. <laughs> Fred Hallstrom. I don't know. You got wood stove? You got wood? <coughs> Stop it. <laughs> and a bit to sleep on. Upper and lower. <laughs> Coffee grinder. Yes? No? I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it sells a lot, Gavin. Now that's a snowshoe. Okay, here we have Willow's Hotel, Canberra River. Let's go in.
There's one hell of a projector. There's the other one down there. Wow, short door. Pump organ. No way. No, he didn't get out of mistaken one of my friends had one of these way back when when I was young a seahorse I think it's five horsepower and a cedar strip boat and we had a blast Hey man, are you supposed to be in that boat? <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> Literally. Well, now, Campbell River Museum was quite interesting. A few places you can't uh, take pictures, and the rest of it was pretty dark, so mm, kind of hard to take pictures. But I got some pretty neat to uh, exhibit. So uh, the other one I want to try again is the Marine Museum, which parking lot is packed. So let's go check it out. <laughs> This one's for me. <laughs> uh, the Marine Museum is closed for Sundays. Yeah, Saturday. Oh well. The flea market certainly is good. <laughs> Can't put this on my video. That's cool. <laughs> the perfect diabetic diet. On with a big chocolate shake. They do a lot of plastic straws here in BC. Uh, turn them into paper. I think it's a great idea. Showtime. Well, I'm walking.